For the past week or so, the name murder hornet has been sweeping across America. This new invasive species is claimed by the media to be extremely dangerous, that it can murder people just with a single sting. At least, it seems that's where the name murder hornet was made up. Well, is it really the case? Should you be concerned about another new outbreak? In this video, we will explain whether or not you are at risk of getting stung by one, and how deadly this creature's venom actually is. So stick around. Firstly, there is no such thing as murder hornets. This name was just made up by the media to exaggerate and spread fear. Scientifically, this particular species is known as the Asian giant hornet. This huge, mean-looking insect does look terrifying. And they can actually be dangerous due to their potent sting. But you know what? The possibility of getting murdered by this insect, or this insect taking over America, is almost non-existent. Therefore, you shouldn't be worried about going on a picnic this summer. But it is important to be informed, and stay safe, then sorry anyway. Look. These hornets are really big, in fact, most of the fully grown hornets can measure close to 2 inches in length with a 3 inch wingspan. This insect is so large, that it could resemble a sparrow while flying. Because of this, in Japan, the Japanese giant hornets are named as the Great Sparrow Bird. And these things are so loud, it may seem like a drone, when it flies by you. So you are going to hear it far before it attacks you. Anyway. How did this monster of a hornet, get here to America? Technically, for a hornet of any kind, it is physically impossible to fly all across the ocean from Asia to North America. In case of an attempt to fly this far, it would exhaust itself, and end up falling dead in the ocean. The likely way it got here is via cargo ships. A lot of invasive species, migrate via cargo ships to long distant lands. This is how it works. They get on a ship, and fail to get back to their land before the departure. Then, once the ship docks at its destination, they sense soil, and escape from the ship and end up in the foreign lands. Alright, now the question is, how many of these Asian giant hornets have made its way to Pacific Northwest? To be honest, we are not sure, so do the entomologists. Could there be a number of them? Possibly. Entomologists have specifically started working on this topic now, to find out whether or not a nest and a colony has formed. If that is the case, once they locate the Asian giant hornets, they will be eradicated, and it is unlikely the spread of the insect will continue any further. So the most important question is, how deadly is this hornet? To be precise, a single sting from the hornet can be excruciatingly painful. If you are not so good at tolerating pain, it can be extremely tough to handle. The pain can last anywhere from 6 to 36 hours, and the muscles around the sting can swell up to twice its size. So we do not recommend you to get stung by one. In addition to the intense pain, the venom of this hornet is also quite potent. Since this Asian giant hornet is so big, it's going to have a larger venom yield. That means, a single sting by this hornet will inject way more venom into your body than your typical backyard hornets. The venom contains neurotoxic properties, meaning, it attacks your nervous system, and also has compounds that can break down human flesh, meaning it can cause necrosis, a condition that causes death to most, or all of the cells in an organ, or tissue. A single sting would be extremely hard to handle due to the pain alone. But several stings, let's say 20 to 30, can potentially kill a person. But the usual cause of death is secondary allergic reaction to the venom, in which a single sting can turn out to be deadly. But this also varies from person to person. Although harmful, these hornets are not going to attack a human being for no reason. These hornets will not sting unless provoked. This means if you threaten these creatures, by trying to catch it, or kill, or harm, just like all hornets and wasps, they would attack. But, you can probably get away from a single hornet safely. However, if you stumble upon a nest, and disturb a bunch of them, that is when you are likely to get swarmed, and that is the dangerous worst case scenario. Hopefully, none of us put ourselves in that situation. So conclusively, if you come across the Asian giant hornet, take a photograph from a safe distance, and provide it to your local fish and wildlife department. They will then connect with the entomologists and take further actions on finding and eradicating this invasive species. All you have to do is, just to safely walk away. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. We will catch you on the next one. Until then, it's been an episode of The Informed.